I guess maybe for both of you guys, Charlotte kind of made a run there and cut it to nine. I think there's about five minutes left. Must call the timeout. Uh, what was the message during that timeout? Then you guys came out and finished the game on a 13 to two run. So you just talk about the execution down the stretch. Uh, he basically just told us we got to get some stops on the other end, that it was too easy. And it was. So we wanted to come out and just make it tougher. Now. Yeah, kind of what he said. We just get stops and then handle the ball on the other side. We were getting, we had a couple turnovers and we just had to slow down the game and play smart. Well, was he pretty calm on that timeout? Because, you know, Eric doesn't like to call timeouts, but what was his demeanor or, uh, like? Um, Coach Muss knows how good we can be, and we know if he's on us, we, he, we know that he's just trying to push us to be as best as we can. So he knew we, we could do better, so that's how it was. You want to add anything to that, J.D.? Nah, he, he got it right. <laughs> <laughs> J.D., you, I don't know if you knew this, but Eric, you, know, you had a lot of points the other day, but you only had one rebound. Eric pointed that out. Tonight you had 10. What would you guys both think of the rebounding overall? You out rebounded by 20. and. JD, what do you think of your rebounding, and and what Jalen, what do you think of, of his rebounding? A lot of uh, rebounding, I know. Coach, they told us that this team don't get many offensive rebounds, so that was the game plan to uh, get on the defensive backboards, and a couple of them just fell in my hands. So. Yeah, um, all week me and JD were joking. He'll be hot. he was saying that he had one board last game, so I knew JD was gonna come and get. Uh, didn't know how many, but I knew he was gonna come play and get boards this game. Um, rebound is always one of the main focuses for us, and I feel like that's one of the things we're really good at is getting rebounds, offensive rebounds, second chance points, and that was one of the main focuses for this game. Jalen, think you had a career high 15 points tonight. Did you come into the game looking to be more aggressive, looking for your offense? Um, not really. It's always a thing for me just to play, do whatever I got to do to make sure that we win. And I guess this game, I was getting a lot more opportunities to shoot the ball, and a lot I got hit on the roll a lot, so I, that's just really what happened. An all around game. Uh, in practice, we've been hitting him, so he's been getting his touch, right? So <laughs> tonight, he just showed it, finishing at the rim. <laughs> I guess for both players, just what, because of all the rebounding and everything you had going for you, what kind of kept them in the game until the last five minutes? Um, I really think that we just got lazy on defense, and we can't have little things like that, but I feel like we got lazy on defense where we were just letting them get easy buckets. We were fouling them, letting them get to the free throw line, and really I think that's what just kept them in at the end. And the other thing, uh, Young, their high scorer, I think he was averaging almost 20 points a game, and you all held them pretty well. Just kind of what, what, what was the game plan on him? Uh, the game plan was to take away the star, and uh, he didn't star, so we just wanted to make it tough on him and just make him have to work for everything he get. We know he's a good scorer, so we just wanted to make him work for it. Yeah, his second game in a row, Devo's had a career high in assists. Do you feel like he's getting maybe more comfortable in that, that point guard role? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> All right. um, yeah, we know Devo is really good. He's a great defender. He's a great point guard, great slasher, great on fast breaks. Really, Devo's just been slowing down the game and letting it come to him. And because he's, I feel like because he's scoring so well off these pick and rolls and running the, running the break, passes are getting open too. And so I feel like that's why his assists have been really good. Hey, J.D., did, did Eric say something to you about only having one rebound? I'm, I'm assuming he did, and if so, kind of how did that impact your game tonight? Uh, I mean, he didn't say too much about it. Uh, when I went back and watched the film, I was boxing out most of the time. So, I mean, it just somebody else had to get the rebound. So, And, and then um, you guys at halftime were 14 – you know, 14-0 on second chance points. They didn't even have one offensive rebound. Kind of set the tone, you know, when you guys got the lead for good. Just what did you think of that, doing that in the first half? Uh, just knowing the game plan. The game plan was to uh, shoot it, and if we miss it, go to the offensive glass. So that was the game plan, and I feel like we executed that. You, you know, and like I said, you guys didn't give up an offensive. I think you gave up three or four the whole game. What did you think of that, Jay? Well, um, it was really great. One of our things was getting the rebound, even if they score, taking it out and pushing in the break, trying to get a lot of fast break points this game. So I feel like we did a really good job of that, boxing them out and pushing in the break. Jalen, several times this year, I think you've come up like a couple points shy of a double double or a couple rebounds shy of a double double. Is that frustrating at all to you, or, or <laughs> you just feel like you're going to eventually get there? 
Um, I wouldn't say it's frustrating. I'm kind of just playing, trying to just do whatever the team needs. I, I don't really know my stats till after the game, to be honest with you. So it doesn't really frustrate me as long as we're winning. Hey, and uh, neither of you guys, you know, played on the team. Eric's first year at, at JD. I guess you were red shirt, but you know, Arkansas was pretty small, didn't rebound well, and now that seems to be a team strength. What, what do you guys think about? just the overall rebounding prowess. And, and what do you remember about that team two years ago? Uh, Jail, I'm sure you, you watched a lot of games, you know? Uh, what I remember about that team two years ago, they were small, but like they fronted a lot. So like they gave up a lot of rebounds, but they played hard though. So I kind of think that made up for a lot of it. But now I feel like we got some bigger guys like J. Will, Connor, uh, Stan, DC, all them boys athletic can rebound. So. And me and Devo can rebound too. And Chris be getting rebounds for how small he is. I don't know how. <laughs> Jalen, you want to you, yeah, add how um, you helped? So when they were recruiting me, one of the main things was I knew coming in was I had to be a great rebounder for the team. I knew that was one of the things that they struggled with that year. So coming in, I've always been a main focus of rebounding and coming in and doing whatever I got to do to get the boards. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all. Appreciate it.